to create a custom search feature in Tableau that allows users to search a table or graph for details that are not even in the visual, we'll just need to create one calculated field. And using this method, we don't have to worry about case sensitivity or searching complete words. In this example, I'll be adding the search feature to the table. So I'll go to the table worksheet and I'll create a calculated field and I'll call this search feature. In here, I'll type anything that I want people to be able to search for. So I'll start with customer name and do a plus sign between each field that I want to add. So I'll add country, region, and any attribute that I can think of. And once I have all these fields in here with a plus sign between them, I'll hit OK and bring our search feature into the filters. You can see here, it basically concatenated each of these fields to create a giant string. So I'm going to click Use All and OK. Back on the dashboard, I'll go to the worksheet that I have added the search feature to. I'll click the down arrow, go to Filters, and add the search feature. And to get this to be easily searchable, I'm going to use the down arrow for the filter and choose wildcard match. And now I can use the search feature to look for a keyword like art within any of the fields that I added into our calculated field. While the search feature is fully functional at the moment, I think we can make it look a bit better. So I'll start off with right clicking to hide the title. Then I'll change the dimensions so that I can actually see the whole worksheet. I'll resize it a bit, and then on the Dashboard tab, I'm going to drag in an image. I'll choose this file that I created in Canva, but I have other options that I'll add in the description with different colors. So I'm going to start off with this orange one, since it matches our table color. And then I'll drag this search bar image into the space that I want to use it. And for our actual search feature, I'm going to hit the down arrow, go to floating order, and bring it to the front. Then I'll position the search image and put the search feature inside of it. This is super picky, but I don't like the gray outline that surrounds the search feature. So I'm going to drag in a text box object. I'll hit OK because I don't need any text in there. And then under layout for the background, I'm going to choose white. And I'll reposition this so that it covers that top border. Then I'll copy and paste, and I'll drag it down so it covers the bottom border. I'll copy paste again, and I'll do the same thing covering the side borders. And in presentation mode, you can see what that looks like now. And I can search for information that's not even in the table, like a name of a salesperson or a state like Texas. But you can see it's not affecting our grand totals at the bottom, and that's because it's on a different worksheet. So if you have another visual you want this feature to affect, then just go back to the table worksheet, right-click on the search feature filter, and go to apply to selected worksheets. Then you can check off any worksheet that you want this filter to affect. And now when I search for a customer name like Sarah Brown, it filters the table for all the order details that went to Sarah Brown. And the grand total shows us the total discount that that customer has had and the total quantity that they've ordered.